What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Hall, thanks and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time once again to jump back into Bubblegum Simulator because... Well, happy days, there's been a brand new update. Uh, so yeah, welcome back everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are good. Today, we are jumping into update 8, which has introduced a brand new New Year's event, including a limited time New Year's egg pet, which is apparently located in the spawn, eight limited time pets, and the spawn has gone dark because there's fireworks in the sky. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah, so last time we went into um, Bubblegum Simulator, it was actually, I think, on update six, because since I made that video, which was only a few days ago, there was an update seven, and then there was the update eight. So I think update seven, I can't quite remember what was in that. I think they... Oh, yeah, it's something we haven't done yet. So they've actually introduced a brand new layer to the uh, the normal world here, and it's called XP Island. So I've got a few things that I want to do in this episode. Firstly, I want to go and hit all the chests. Secondly, I want to go and un unlock XP Island, because apparently it's a really good way to get experience for your pets. And then thirdly, I'm kind of thinking that... Ah, there it is. Aha. This is the brand new egg here. This is the New Year's egg. And if you look at this, it actually has a 1% chance of getting a legendary pet. Now, this could be the first legendary that we ever got. The thing is, because it's a slightly lower percentage, I don't know if it's going to be as good as our shinies here. Oh, yeah. So I was just playing a little bit for fun, and I managed to get a couple more crystal unicorns. So now I have a shiny crystal unicorn and a shiny crystal angel, which are the ones from the Winter Wonderland. Now, apparently, this Winter Wonderland world isn't going to be here forever. It's probably going to be removed fairly soon. Although, uh, let's just go and grab our chests. Apparently, when the world goes, the candy canes that you may have will be converted into gems. So, um, I just read this. Hopefully, it's true. Uh, it's from the developer, though. So, Basically, it's probably a good idea if you are playing Bubblegum Simulator to keep hitting your candy cane chests if you're going to be playing and then just save them up. I mean, you can hit the eggs if you want to. I think these crystal pets are pretty decent. They're not like the best ones, but they're pretty good. Um, because what you can do is that when the world will close, those will be converted into gems and one day you'll log in and you'll have a lot more gems. So that can be kind of cool. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close to a billion gems. We might farm a few thingamajiggies. Oh, yeah, and they added this as well. This rainbow egg. Look at this. So, I kind of want to hit the New Year's one just because it's the New Year's event. But they added the rainbow egg and they also added the hell egg. Um, both of which obviously have brand new... Oh, so the hell egg has three legendaries in. Ooh, what about the rainbow? Two. I mean, these, these ratios are still really low. And don't forget as well, I do have the two times luck game pass running, which boosts up mine like times two. But even with that, it's still super duper low. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead to the event world whilst it's still here. Uh, I'm going to go and hit my candy cane chest. And then let's go and unlock XP Island. Sound good? Yeah. Okie dokie, so final chest here for the candy canes. Um, so we're going to go and hit this bad boy. We've got nearly 200,000 candy canes. Um, and I did do just a little bit of chest farming because at the moment anyway, we actually get a pretty decent amount from these pets, um, which is which is kind of nice. But I, I sort of think that... I kind of feel we're probably not going to pull a legendary version of these winter pets. I think like we're probably just going to have to roll with this epic army. Um, I kind of like it. It's good. Um, and I have been leveling them up slightly, which of course increases the stats. So, uh, I think the main thing for me is I kind of want pets that will give over a thousand gems. Like, I know there's legendaries that do a lot more than this, but I think for now, collecting the chests and stuff, this is a nice little boost. So, we do have our two, uh, shiny epics from the, um... From the, from the eggs in the Winter Wonderland world. So these are giving us... Uh, well, let me go and check this out. Uh, the angel is giving us 1,072. And the unicorn is giving us 1.2. Uh, which is kind of nice. And these are obviously going to be useful when we're, when we're harvesting gems and stuff. So let's go and do XP Island. I guess that's probably going to be a good thing to do. So apparently in order to get here, it's pretty similar to the way that you usually get to the islands. You just have to go to the end zone here, which I think is the void layer. And there is a portal to go up. However, in order to get there, we're going to have to go up. So, <laughs> let's blow ourselves a bubble. You know the funny thing about this game? 
It's called Bubblegum Simulator, but there's very, very little bubble blowing that's actually going on. <laughs> it's kind of all to do with, like, farming the chests, I feel. Um, so bubble gravity on, and three, two, one! Woohoo! Let's go, let's go! Oh, we're getting really, really close. Oh my goodness. Um, so I thought, like, usually when you get up to the final island, um... Oh, no, 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 no! 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 Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, jeez. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, when you normally get up to the final island, like, the height bar at the bottom... Oh, jeez, I messed this up now. Yeah, it's usually somewhere near the top, but it seems like XP Island. You don't actually have to go up as high as I was expecting. Of course, I've just fallen all the way down, which is kind of annoying. So let's go and try this once again. Well, that might actually explain why. I think there's two islands. No, I've missed it again. Ugh. It's really annoying, this one, man, because you like... I'm going to have to go to the side of it, I think. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of like... You crash into the island and then it sends you out sideways. But it seems like there's two. Huh. Oh, we're already at the gem, genie. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I've already... <laughs> oh, I forgot about the gem, genie. Are you kidding? Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Seeing as we're here, let's get up to a, a billion. Um, I completely forgot about the gem, genie level. So we've got to go up even higher. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's try that again. Okay, here we go. This should be the final jump. Woohoo! XP Island! Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, no. Jeez. Oh, I always forget to turn the bubble gravity off when we actually get somewhere. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, little Poogie's playing with a squeaky toy. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> so, XP chest. Boom! Oh, okay. So, we got 25,000. That's kind of interesting. I wonder... I wonder if they're going to introduce pets which give you, like, an XP boost. I don't know, actually. So, yeah, you can, like, level up pets from here, I guess. So, you've got, like, the red stars and you've got the gold stars. Uh, uh, like, yeah. Cool. Well, there you go. So, that respawns in an hour. But the cool thing is now that we do have the portal unlocked, we can, like, make that part of our chest farming EV. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the island unlocked. I think it's probably time that we have a bit of fun here with this new festive egg. Well, not festive egg. It's a New Year's egg, isn't it? Because it's nearly New Year. Um, Yeah, this is kind of the tricky thing. So do we go and open up those new rainbow eggs, which, you know, we can get better pets from those, but they're going to be rarer. Or do we use our gems and we try and go for the legendaries in here? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go with this one just because, like... We don't have a legendary yet, so even though it won't be... Oh, let's check this out. If I close this... Oh, we've already pulled an epic. Yeah, the epics are like a 15% chance, so I think this is like the easiest epics you're ever going to get. At least it feels that way anyway. Where is it? I don't even think it's that good. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, it is. See, look, like 160 and 70 is pretty bad, but 2018 Dragon, it does look kind of cool. Uh, i tell you what we'll do. Let's just open up a few of these. Let's see how we do. I mean... Maybe we can pull that legendary. I don't know. But it is like an event, so we might as well enjoy it. Um, and then, yeah, maybe like next time we might focus on the latest eggs. Try and pull something really, really cool. Although, having said that, I've nearly opened 2,000 eggs and I've never pulled a single legendary. So, <laughs> my luck is not very good. But, hey. Oh, there it is. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> I brought the auto opener. Um... <laughs> Which is really, really cool, actually. Oh, it's the 1% chance one. Huh. Yeah, I bought the auto opener. Which is really, really nice. <laughs> so I can kind of just sit here and I can, like, watch them open. Uh, it was kind of expensive, but, like, with the amount of eggs that you've got to open, I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Why not? So I can kind of just sit here and do this, which is really, really nice. Um, and, of course, a lot of the time, little Poogie is causing trouble. So, uh, good to keep an eye on her. What are you doing now? doing now okay stop stop opening for a second hey so we pulled the legendary one but it's i mean it's a one percent chance so i don't think it's going to be particularly good uh we pulled a shiny 2018 bat but it's not actually very good either what is that legendary it looks cool hey okay a 2018 serpent so its base stats are i'm, I'm kind of just looking mainly at the gems so 700 uh, and 80, so it's not as good as... Oh, no, it is. It's better than the Crystal Angels. Oh, it does less coin, but it does more gem. So I guess we should equip one, right? I mean, the thing is, if this is a 1% chance, okay, 
Why can't we get 10 of these and make it a shiny? Oh, it looks really cool. We could make it a shiny serpent. Maybe that's what we can do. So if it's a 1% chance, it's the same rarity as the um, epics that we've already got. And we have a shiny of each of those. Yeah, it did take a little bit of time. But these eggs really aren't that expensive. Um, so it is literally a case of if we just keep standing here and if we keep opening these eggs, maybe, just maybe, we might be able to pull a few more. I don't know, man. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. So yeah, this may take some time. Oh, there's another one. Woohoo! <laughs> Can I pull 10? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, huh? Ooh, okay. Check this out. So I've just been literally standing here opening these bad boys for ages. Um, so yeah, definitely... This uh, New Year's Eve legendary, this 2018 Serpent is, I kind of feel like it's the easiest legendary pull in the game right now. I could be, well, apart from like maybe those very, very beginning eggs, but for like a fairly okay legendary, it's not too bad. Now, I do have that two times game pass, but even with a 0.5% chance instead of a 1% chance, I think you should be able to pull these pretty easy. Uh, the cool thing is, though, is that we've actually pulled 10. Look at that. We've got 10 of these bad boys, so we can make it into a shiny one, uh, which we might as well do. So this is our first legendary shiny. I know it's not quite as fancy schmancy as the other ones, like, you know, the, the higher level ones, but, 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 there it is. 2018 legendary serpent. Here we go. Here we, not legendary serpent. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 1,500. Okay, so it is slightly better than our crystal ones at, like, and it's, it's only, like, level one. So equip. Uh, uh, where is it? Hey! Oh, it's blue. Hey, I like that, man. That looks awesome. Check that out. So yeah, we've got ourselves our first shiny legendary, which is kind of awesome. Now we've got, how many have we got of those? The problem is like, this is the only annoying thing. So in order to actually clear up space, what I do is I make all of these random ones into shinies and then I have to like delete the shinies, um, but they're not very good. Is there a way to like, delete things on mass so i mean you can use this thing here and you can like click them but is there a way to drag it so you can select loads in one go that would be awesome if there was like a drag feature because right now you have to click every single one of them individually and it's super duper annoying um yeah but that's what i've been doing so i've just been like making them into shinies and then just clearing out space that way so i mean the good thing is you kind of like free up nine spaces every single time you make it into a shiny but uh if you're opening loads of eggs <laughs> It becomes a little bit of a nuisance. Like, look at all of these shiny ice bunnies we've got. And they're not even very good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. See, the thing is, like, if they ever introduce a tier after shiny, then it would be a good idea to try and keep some of these because we might be able to make some, like, I don't know, gold versions or rainbow or whatever they're going to do. But uh, still, we still haven't pulled that 0 0.01 chance, which I don't think we are going to be doing it. But I'm going to stick around for another, I don't know, half an hour or something. Just see what we get. These are super duper cheap, so we're not really spending that much money. I'm kind of wondering if it might be a good idea to then go and maybe open up the latest rainbow egg and just see what we can get. I don't know, man. It's, it's difficult. I don't know. It's kind of just waiting. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can get two of these shinies. Who knows? Okie dokie. So welcome back, everyone. It's been a little bit of time um, since the last time we spoke. Now, I can't remember how many eggs we've opened in this episode um but we're nearly up to 4,000 total eggs opened which i know is kind of not actually that many in the grand scheme of things but i think this is probably the most eggs that i've ever opened up in one session i've been using the auto opener um game pass and we still have <laughs> we've spent barely anything so i feel like this new year's egg it's definitely the best chance you've got to get a legendary so if you're someone like me who doesn't really pull that many legendaries um, then I think this is probably a good way of doing it. So we've got one 2018 serpent, and I think... Yeah, look at this! We can make another one! Woohoo! There we go. Boom! And we've got another four to go. So my back, my inventory's filled up again. I've got so many... <laughs> so many things here. So many random shinies. Just so many of the same shiny. It's too many shinies, man. Uh, but we can equip this bad boy. There we go. And we've got two shiny 2018 serpents. They look cool, man. I really like these. They look nice. Um, but yeah, so I've got two of those. I mean, the thing is, we could just keep sitting here indefinitely. So what I think I'll do is I'm just going to try and open a bunch of these. Or it's kind of tempting to go and maybe open up the rainbow ones, see what we can pull from that. But yeah, definitely, even at a 0.5% chance, without the two times luck game pass, you are definitely going to be able to pull these guys, I think, pretty easily. 
Uh, that 0 0.0011 though, it's just, that's hard. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of luck of the draw, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I think that's probably about it for today. But don't worry, we'll be back again with some more in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rant to y'all.